Hello, my name is Dustin, and today I'll be showing you how to add a new user to your Reserve Cloud account. To add a new user, click the Settings button in your navigation bar, and then scroll down to the Users tab. Click on that tab, and then click on Manage Users. On the Manage Users page, click the New button, and this will take you to the Add User screen. On this screen, you'll want to fill out as much information as you can. The only things that are required are a username, a first name, a last name, and a password. So we'll fill in our username. Typically, that will be the email address of the person that you're setting up, um, but it can be anything. There, there aren't any restrictions on, on what you can enter. Then you'll want to enter the first name, the last name, and you'll want to set a password. Typically, we recommend setting their password to the same thing as their username to start with, and you can request to have them change their password upon their first login. The passcode field is for our reservations module, and it is not required, but if you do enter that, you'll want to make sure to enter it into both of the passcode fields. Then you'll want to enter an email address. Once again, it'll be their email address. You can enter a phone number for them. A mobile phone, a fax, and on the right hand side, we have a time zone drop down. This is going to default to whatever the time zone for your organization is, so you typically won't need to change that. You can enter a title for them, a department, and a user ID. Then you'll want to select a primary site. This will determine which site they see when they first log in to the software and go to the events page. The module drop down will determine which modules they have access to. If you're only licensed for one module, you want to select that, for example, events. If you save this and get an error saying you can't select a module that you don't have access to, that means this was probably left on all module access, and you'll want to select the module that your company uses. The role drop down will determine what security rights that they have, whether they're an admin, a, just a full user, or if they're view only. Their hierarchy authorization will determine which sites they have access to. If you have more than one site in your organization, you can open this up to select which site you want them to log into. The ownership group dropdown will determine whether or not they're able to view or edit other users' information. By default, it'll allow them to view and edit everyone's, but you can limit that so that they can only edit their own. The Revenue Center restrictions dropdown will determine if they have access to book certain kinds of charges to an event. And then lastly, we have the Must Change Password checkbox, and that comes back to this password that we set. If you check this, when they log in for the first time, it will request they change their password to something else. Once you have all of this information entered, you can simply click the Save button to add this user. And once that's saved, they'll be able to log in. Thank you for watching this video on how to add a new user.